Now, how do you feel that you'd make a difference as a city council member here in Ritman? Well, I think that the experience that I was fortunate enough to receive in New York, both serving as the president of the Downtown Business Association and uh, serving a uh, four-year term on the council there, that the uh, town that I lived in was 40,000 people. So, you know, obviously bigger than Ritman, uh, but with some of very similar challenges, as I mentioned before. And so I think that those experiences that I had there and the things that I learned uh, could help me uh, help all of us uh, working together to uh, achieve some of the things we saw there. We saw our downtown beautified, uh, which helped attract new business. Uh, we brought in new business and, uh, again, providing jobs, bringing down the tax burden. And uh, I'm excited about the opportunity to try that again. Uh, I would never claim to have all the answers, but I like working together with people. I like bringing the community together. In fact, that's one of the things that I would like to do uh, with the cooperation of the city council and uh, the, uh, the city staff, city manager, and others, is really have a vision casting session with our community. Let's bring minds together. I believe we have a, I've been meeting many people here in Ritman, and I believe we have a lot of gifted, talented, bright people who really you know, have some great ideas about this place. Bring them together. Let's put those down in writing, and let's decide as a community, where do we want to go? What do we want to see here? Because um, I really think that with uh, setting some goals and uh, casting a vision, uh, you know, there's a, there's a great quote out there that says, if you aim at nothing, you hit it every time. Yes. <laughs> and that's not to say that we don't have goals currently, but I think that we bring some people together and get some fresh goals laid out uh, with some fresh enthusiasm, some new blood, and some... Um, um, you know, other resources, I think that we can, uh, again, make this an even better place, yes. better than it is currently. Very good. Now, what are your plans for making Ritman more livable? We're a place where more families will want to call Ritman uh, their home. Yeah. Well, one thing uh, that we did there back in New York, and, and I'll refer back there a lot just because that was where my experience was, uh, one thing that we did is we worked cooperatively with our uh, county and uh, with our uh, state officials, and we came up with uh, what there in New York is referred to as empire zones. There were, they, they were pieces of property that we zoned specifically for the purpose of attracting businesses. And what we did is we dangled some carrots. You know, we came up with some incentives. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, uh, because uh, there's some terminology that floats around in regard to being business friendly. And that's what we were trying to do in our community is how can we be as business friendly as we can to attract industry in. And uh, so, again, like I said, we worked cooperatively with the county and with the state and with those officials. And we, we came up with these empire zones. And what we were able to do is then market those zones to industry. And we said, look, if you come here to this town, we're going to give you a tax break, you know, for a certain period of time. Uh, we have some gyms here in town that are going to offer all your employees, you know, memberships, either free or at a discounted rate. And we had some other perks as well. And uh, I believe that's something we can do right here. You know, we have some great property down by uh, Morton Salt. Uh, we have other property that's not developed or some property that maybe has some structures that can be revitalized along with some incentives. I think we can bring some businesses in here. I agree. If you were unfamiliar with an area of Ritman that was experiencing a neighborhood-related public safety issue, how would you get to know the area and its constituents? Well, I think one thing I found out on the city council there in New York is you're not in the dark long when it comes to issues that people have within their community because they have a phone. <laughs> and uh, I received a number of calls during the four years that I was on the council there. Some issues I was able to directly, you know, help with. Others that, you know, were out of my area of expertise where I was able to get on the phone with the city manager or, you know, other people uh, and say, you know, hey, this concern has been brought to me. Uh, often we would do that, of course, at a council session or a work session. We would say, you know, this particular resident called, you know, maybe it was a speeding issue, you know, down their street, and uh, we were able to uh, ask the city manager to, uh, you know, look into that. 
Uh, and in our particular case there in New York, uh, we were able to put in some of these uh, radar detectors, um, you know, standalone, mm -hmm. and uh, the police were able to increase their presence and, you know, uh, to uh, help abate the speeding that was taking place in these residential areas with children. And so the community typically will make you aware, uh, and then we have an obligation to, uh, you know, take those concerns to the council and to the city staff and uh, do what we can to follow up with them to uh, make sure those residents' needs are being addressed. Hmm. Now, what do you propose we do to attract businesses to come to Ritman? Well, uh, you know, like I was saying there uh, previously, I really think uh, coming up with some of these zones, um, you know, where we're going to either, uh, you know, renovate a building. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, you've heard uh, that old saying from Field of Dreams, build it and they will come. Mm -hmm. And we did see that. In fact, we had an industrial park that we built some structures and we were able to market those. Um, we, in fact, we had a dedicated person who was working on those things and some other people that teamed together on that. And, uh, you know, I think that we have people like that here in Ritman. Uh, where we can start focusing on, you know, uh, developing some property, putting some incentives in place, uh, and again, dangling those carrots out there uh, to bring in the business, which provides jobs and brings down the tax burden. Because uh, Ritman, uh, again, it's a great place to live, but I think with working together and working hard on some of these things, we can make it even better. I agree.